Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Ali8, today I've got some Battlefield 4 multiplayer gameplay for you guys. A lot of you will have seen the multiplayer gameplay from Battlefield 4 that I posted earlier this week on my channel. That footage was taken from the Microsoft Xbox One conference and you guys really enjoyed that footage, but this is actually me playing at E3 2013, the massive gaming event that I've been at all this week where there were lots of Xbox One information release, PS4 information and of course a ton of new games. If you missed any of my videos from earlier this week make sure you're checking them out because there's a load of information about new games and of course for new consoles but this setup here was a 64 man PC setup with all of the PCs interlinked and all of us were playing together uh, at E3 it was really really fun and I've got some footage here in 1080p of me playing now I wanted to show you guys mainly just the map and uh, the sort of experience you get while playing on such a big server and playing on the Battlefield 4 uh, maps because the big thing and the big change that I felt over Battlefield 3 especially when you're playing on PC is the actual maps and the way that you can interact with them, the destructible environments, because of course the building I'm just about to head up to now can actually be toppled. If you shoot at the pillars at the base of this enough with RPGs and explosives, it will eventually topple the whole of the building into the water and then the area where the building was will just turn into a wreckage site basically. There's actually a flag on top of this building and if you get on top of this building and you capture the flag, it's a sea flag I believe, then you are going to dominate, you're going to do really well well on this map because once you have C, once you have that top of the building, you can then spawn there every time you die, you can then parachute off the top and go and access quickly and easily any of the other parts of the map, so that's one of the best places to lock down and to keep a hold of. Now of course I'm not a big Battlefield player, I'm not a big PC player, so I didn't do amazing but I wanted to show you guys just some highlights, give you an idea of what this map is like and let you know what I felt when I played the map and here's me uh, shooting at the bottom of the building trying to make it topple down. Um, Battlefield 4 did feel amazing it looked amazing and uh, visually it always has looked good especially Battlefield 3 on PC that looked fantastic as well so the actual visual difference isn't huge for PC players anyway if you're playing on console and you're going to be getting Battlefield 4 on either the Xbox One or the PS4 then you're really going to experience the change with Battlefield 4 over Battlefield 3 because Battlefield 3 of course only ever ran at 30 frames per second it didn't look anywhere near as nice as it did on PC but with these new generation of consoles Battlefield 4 will be running at 60 frames per second which is a huge improvement and will look almost as good as being on the PC which is massive I honestly can't wait to get my hands on Battlefield 4 on the current gen consoles because of course I prefer and I'm better used to using a controller and then matching that with the 60 frames per second and with the, fan with the fantastic graphics that will be available on the Xbox One and PS4 I think it will be a really really fun game I think um, people will honestly really enjoy it this year and it could be a big competitor to Call of Duty now I got to play this game uh, for about half an hour so I got a bit of footage for you guys this has been cut down just to some highlights but I want to know for you guys uh, what you think of Battlefield 4 if you think it's going to persuade you to buy it from the footage you've seen in this video and other videos I've posted or if you're going to be sticking to Call of Duty because of course we've got a Call of Duty Ghost gameplay um, reveal for the very first time earlier on this week last Sunday uh, I was actually at the Call of Duty Ghost event and that was really good fun but we got to see some footage of the campaign of course we won't get any Ghost multiplayer gameplay until around September August time so we've got to wait a little bit longer for that uh, Battlefield 4 was really good fun I got a few sniper kills a few kills with some of the uh, normal weapons as well but this isn't the full uh, final game I think this is even pre beta so it may be alpha uh, version of the game so nothing is running a hundred percent but I was very lucky to get this footage and to share with you guys um, some of the very early gameplay for Battlefield 4 multiplayer but in terms of the final release date of this game it's gonna be around end of October which is about a week or two before Call of Duty Ghost is launched and that tends to be what happens with Battlefield launch titles is that they come out just before the new Call of Duty everyone plays them for a few weeks and then it tends to die off a little bit in terms of the Call of Duty community anyway we will move over to Call of Duty but perhaps this year it will last a little bit longer now in terms of the beta of this game they've confirmed the beta I know I'm going to be in it because there was a package where if you bought uh, Medal of Honor the new Medal of Honor that launched last year you got um, access to the beta for Battlefield
scheduled for. We don't know when the beta is going to be happening exactly, but as we get more details on that, I'm sure I'll cover it for you guys, perhaps get some gameplay uh, live for you guys, because of course I couldn't record this live while I was playing at E3. There's too much noise, couldn't happen. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated with all important information to do with Battlefield 4, of course, if you guys want to hear it. But what I'd love to know from you guys in the comment section is your initial thoughts and opinions on Battlefield 4. We've seen both multiplayer and single player now of Battlefield 4, so we've seen both aspects of the game, albeit not fully complete version of the game, but it still looks fantastic at this point. I'd love to know what you guys think of it. Will you be picking up the game either on PC, on the current consoles, or on the new consoles? Let me know in the comment section down below. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this gameplay. I apologize for not getting the best gameplay in the world. Of course, I'm not a Battlefield or a PC player, but it was really good fun to play. And hopefully you guys got a good overall look at this game from the footage I have for you guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you've done so, give the video a like. And if you haven't seen any of my videos from earlier this week, I covered Xbox One gameplay and information, PS4 gameplay and information, and of course, it was Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. Make sure you check out all of those videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.